Hello, I'm Molly with Geeks World Wide, and today I'm going to be reviewing the TC77 microphone along with its companion, the toner arm stand. So let's get started. So what we have here is the T20 Studio Boom Arm for the toner microphones. So let's take a look at the packaging here. It comes in a brown box, pretty cool cover. I like their logo a lot, and along the side here we have some of the items that come in it, such as the mount clamp, the arm stand, a uh, pop filter, and a few more items. So let's take a look at what's inside the packaging. Up here, see what initially it comes out. Okay, so we have a few items on the top. We have, it looks like we have a instruction manual and a, I'm guessing, warranty card. So it looks like you get a two-year warranty on the toner products. I think that is the same for the microphone as well. So let's open the instruction manual and find out how to put this thing together. It looks pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I'm glad they included picture examples. I think I'm going to attach this to one of my coffee tables. I think it would be perfect for that, as well as a desk and anywhere else. So we have our boom filter here. It's pretty big, which is nice. And it looks like it has a pretty long uh, cord, which will be nice so we can keep our distance on our microphone, not too close. So we've got our foam cover here. It's a little pressed, but it'll pop back since it's just foam. So we have the clamp here. This will enable us to clamp our boom stand to multiple services. And I'm going to speed through some of this. This is the clamp that goes on the microphone stand to hold your microphone. It is compatible with the microphone I'll be using in this video. Some cord wires to attach the cords and some other bits and pieces just to put together. And finally, now we get to opening the actual arm itself and then we can put this thing together. Here we have the TC77 microphone, so let's open this bad boy up. It looks like it has pretty good packaging. So let's find out the bits and pieces inside. From the front you can tell it has the two-year warranty and I believe it'll come with a card inside with contact information as well as this instruction manual. Uh, if you want to go through it, you can. I've learned just by popping this microphone in myself that I didn't really have to set up anything. So it is plug in and play. And here's your service card with your two wor two year warranty replacement. Uh, so if you have that car, then you're set to go. It won't break in two years. Comes with its own little mini pop filter to put on the tripod it comes with. It is a little small, but the microphone's also small itself, so you probably don't need a super huge one. So let's look at this. It comes pretty much pre-assembled. All you really gotta do is put the pop filter on and then I think you're good to go. So it looks like, yeah, pretty simple tripod. You can pop these things out and it looks like it has little rubber balls on the end so it's not sliding around wherever you decide to put it. Uh, the shock bands are in there so that's, that's really good. It doesn't look like it comes with any extra so be careful not to lose those. So let's screw this on. Yeah, and this is pretty easy assembly here. And voila, you got your microphone. Looks like it comes with the USB end cord, which is compatible with my computer. You might need an adapter if you don't have a USB cord. Typically, computers do come with one, though. I wanted to say this microphone is extremely easy to set up. All you have to do is plug it in to use it. You don't have to install any extra drivers. You just plug it in and it's ready to go on your PC. Uh, this microphone does have a USB input, so uh, you will need a laptop that's compatible with that. Otherwise, you'll have to buy an adapter. I like to use this microphone with my phone, my Samsung, so I bought a USB to USB-C adapter. And it works really well with my phone as well as my laptop, and I don't have to install anything, which is a big win for me. 
What I do wish about this stand though was that the pop filter was a little bit longer. It's not too bad. You can adjust it pretty much where you want it to be, but I prefer it be just a little bit longer because I like to have mine a couple more inches out than I can really with this. Other than that though, you can find pretty crisp and clear sound with it regardless, which is nice. Um, for my voice particularly, I don't like I don't like to use these as much when I have the pop filter, um, just because it makes it a little harder to hear, but I will use it with both so you can see the difference. So I'm talking right now, and that's what it's like with your foam covering on it and the pop filter. This is what happens when you are just talking into the foam, which... So one of the things is you have to be pretty close to the microphone in order to get a louder sound input, um, but this is also what reduces a lot of the background noise. I had to go into my settings and crank up the input on my laptop so I could hear myself better. This also created a little bit of a hum in the background, but it's pretty easy to clear this up using your audio program. The microphone appears to be a cardioid pattern, so it basically it captures what's directly in front of it and slightly to the side. It doesn't get all that background noise. Um, I believe this microphone is really good for its price. It is not expensive at all. I wouldn't use it as much for like musical instruments. I would use this if you want to go on a Zoom or Skype call. I would use it for creating YouTube videos. Uh, you will get a nice crisp, clear sound from it, but it is a great value for the microphone and especially a great value for the arm stand. Like these combo together, it's under a hundred bucks if you were to get them both. And that is really good, especially for beginners. And it's kind of a deal you can't beat, uh, which I really appreciate because nobody wants to spend a ton of money on their audio equipment, not right away. So this kind of gives a nicer, clearer alternative option for people. And it looks good, it looks sleek. I like it a lot. It's not an ugly microphone by any means.